Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Hi guys and welcome back to my home. Today I'm bringing you loads of cleaning motivation in this after dark clean with me. In today's cleaning video I'm going to be tidying the living room as well as doing some laundry. I want to clean the carpets in the living room, I want to tackle the bathroom and as well as the kitchen make sure that's all reset and refreshed for the morning. If you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you click the button down below and join our little family. The first thing I'm going to do, since everyone's gone to bed now, is tidy up the living room. I cleaned the couch cover yesterday, so I do need to put that back on the couch. I need to put the throw pillows and blankets back on there. I am using my Windex cleaner to make sure that glass table's nice and sparkly. I will say about this couch cover, it's great. For the price, $20, it's amazing, and I'm so glad that it just covers this blue couch but it is a little bit fiddly. I noticed some kid finger marks on the table, so I'm going to give that a wipe, but I haven't really given this table lamp a good polish since I got it. So I'm going to do that now with my Ajax spray and wipe, tackle this laundry. Everything is alright, oh I want to be with you, oh I want to be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your hand. entire living room a really good vacuum but I wanted to make sure I especially got this rug it is a new purchase as you guys may have seen from my moving vlog but yeah I needed a really good vacuum it's just really been getting a spot clean here and there but I love how the carpet lines come up Once I'm done giving the living room that really good vacuum, I do go over it with the Novak carpet cleaner. I find this stuff amazing and it dries so quickly. The living room is somewhere that is really important for me to be reset for the next morning. It's just, it just makes me a happier person. But we're going to move on to cleaning the bathroom now. I'm starting by removing all of the items and I'm going to get rid of all the clutter, things that shouldn't be here or not in the right space. And I'm actually just going to give this a really good wipe down with some white vinegar because I did recently clean the bathroom. I've been trying to give it a good clean every few days, but I love the way that the chrome comes up with a good polish with the vinegar. And then of course I'm doing the glass cleaner on the mirror. My kids had a bath earlier and for some reason this bath just isn't really on a slant. The water doesn't drain out very well. There is always like this very thin layer of water that remains in the bathtub that is collected by a lot of soap scum. So I'm going to make sure that I give this entire space a really good wipe out and I am just using the same white vinegar cloth. I can't say I change up my plugs very often, but I can say that every time I move into a new rental, we do change them up. So I'm just really doing some decor bits and putting everything back around the bathroom when I notice that my dressing gown is dirty. So I need to clean that, 
and at the same time I grabbed some fresh linens. Give it all a good mop in here, make sure it smells really nice. Once I'm done using my co-spray mop in here, we're going to move on to the kitchen. I find the kitchen is the most important space to have clean for my mental health. I'm definitely a happier person when I walk in and see it nice and fresh. But those are the only times of the day where it is clean because it's more of like a working kitchen. Once I'm finished cooking something, something gets cleaned and then we restart again. I start cooking or I start cleaning something. On any given day during the day, you can walk into my kitchen and guarantee it's gonna be messy. I definitely don't use the GIF cream cleanser on my sink every single night. In fact, it's hardly ever. I usually only use it on my oven, stove top, that sort of thing, but I did want to give it a really good deep clean. And the final thing I'm going to do is go a once over with the white vinegar again. The more I buff it, the shinier it comes up. But thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And give me a thumbs up. It really lets me know that you enjoyed this video and that I should be making more. So I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye.